What's going on guys? It's your boy Sin and today is episode 14 of the Shining Pearl Let's Play. Now last time we left off, I can't remember honestly what we left off on because it's been a little bit, been busy, haven't been able to do anything. But in today's episode what I will tell you guys is that the other reason why there hasn't been another one recently is because I can't defeat the, what is it, the third gym? The, uh, the fighting gym. I just can't. So, in this episode, we're gonna evolve, I think, three of our Pokemon and, uh, just keep leveling up and just chill. This will be a chill episode and, um, in the next one, we'll go ahead and try to defeat that gym leader now. Oh, and before I get started, as always, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Check out PokeOutPost.com. You can use code SIN. You can get free shipping on anything. Now, with all that being said, let's jump right into it. Alright, so... Like I said, we're gonna jump in and pretty much just evolve. That's all we're gonna do. That's all we can do. Cause there's nothing much else that we can do. How have you guys been? I haven't posted in a while. <laughs> I need to, oh my God, my stick drift, it's back. Whoa, okay, hold on, hello, hello, hello. There we go. Jesus, I'm telling you, it's, it's a struggle out here, man. Oh yeah, how you guys been? I haven't even posted an unboxing because I'm running really, really low on everything. And I mean, that's where you guys, you know, that's where I've said it before. Subscribe to the channel, watch my stuff, so that way I can actually start, you know, joining the the fun thing from YouTube and get paid. You know, my job is just for, you know, necessity me my kids and my girl and all that stuff so you know beyond that <coughs> it was cold outside beyond that i need to be able to fund like you know this stuff with the gaming stuff it's not really that hard because you know when oops, the fuck, my sleeves came down whenever new games come out you know i have money for that you know i'll be getting the new rcs game and all that stuff that's no no problem but where it comes in being a little tricky is getting the um the cards you know because it's a continuous thing i'd have to continually get boxes get boosters get whatever you know and i'm i'm running real low so yeah that's where you guys could just help me out what i did want to talk about in this episode i pressed down i pressed left actually because i'm retarded i'm getting demonetized have you guys seen spider-man yo that was just a ride. That was whole ups and downs. I'm gonna spoil stuff in here. I am leaving and you can't stop me. I'm packing my bags. And a very, very calm day into this. Yo. So, you wanna hear a funny story? Me personally, I suffer from a disease. Lactose intolerance. <laughs> um, I can't have too much milk. I can't have like too much cheese or I'll die. Not literally. Like I'll go to the bathroom. So mind you, I did have it to the point where I could not have any cheese. I couldn't have any milk. But for some reason, like a couple months back, that stopped. I could eat cheese, a whole ton of it, and nothing would happen. Now milk was like something... That I could not have because that would just trigger it to the max. But I was like, like I just saw that I can have cheese. So, of course, you know, that day of the theater, I go get Chick-fil-A. I eat that with a bunch of Chick-fil-A sauce. I get an ice cream and I get a pizza. I guess that was too much because I missed when Andrew came in. I missed it. I'm going to go rewatch it, the movie, because I'm going to go with my mom and uh, my siblings. And plus, it's Spider-Man. I want to watch it again. The hell? I don't care. But, uh, yeah, I missed that. And I'm just like, dude, I'm pissed. <laughs> and then another weird thing, the other day at work, you know, after that whole thing, I'm not supposed to drink milk. I go get Starbucks. I get a Frappuccino. But, my God, my stick drift. But, I forgot to get almond milk. I'm chugging this big old freaking venti cup. Nothing happened. So I don't get my body, man. It's just... 
I don't get it. But anyways, back to the movie. Dude, I got right back into the theater after the bathroom to witness Toby. Toby get in there. I lost my mind. And I walk in there, right? And I'm like, oh, I got here at the perfect time. And my friend next to me is like, no, you didn't. You missed something. I was like, what I miss? I look up and there's already Andrew. I'm like, ah, oh. I'm like, damn. But bro, the scenes that they were in, the stuff that was going on. Yo, the, the fights between Green Goblin and Tom's Spider-Man. My God, dude. Green Goblin had no business being that nasty in that damn movie. But he was. I'm gonna go ahead and catch this because I haven't caught it before. But dude, that was just insanity. I couldn't take it. Blow for blow, just going at it, dude. It was so nasty to watch, but I loved it. And then Aunt May died. I wanted to cry, but I couldn't cry because I had that stuff in my stomach. Man. And then everybody just forgets. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, the first one. Sorry, I stopped because I, I knew something was going to evolve. So we're finally going to get our Luxray. Flash is going to evolve. Let's go. <laughs> he looks so nasty. I can't wait to get him shiny. He's gold. Oh, dude, look at him. Look at his side profile. He looks like Goku. When its eyes gleam gold, they can spot hiding prey, even those taking shelter behind a wall. He's got wall hacks? Damn. And I got the ponytail. Okay, we're just gonna put him away for right now. Okay, let's see if we missed any trainers. Um. So yeah, like I was saying, like that whole movie was just crazy, man. Willem Dafoe played his freaking part. I'm so glad that he came. Oh, what? What'd I get? Oh, I didn't see. Was it bulk up, I think? We battled already. But yeah, Willem Dafoe played his part. I'm glad that, uh... Oh, what? Okay, um... I'm glad Electro came back and just get... Oh, a Chansey! I'm glad he came back just so he can, you know redo his part and he did it really good the lizard seemed a bit off to me i'm not gonna lie he just wasn't that much of a prominent character the only part that he did something for the movie was when he tossed uh or when he created like a crash for um mj to fall and then tom went to grab her the glider cuts him off and then andrew goes in and saves her and dude i wanted to cry because then I saw Andrew cry because he just, you know, flashback of Gwen. Ooh, we got Debo. Hold on. We'll get right back on that. He's finally evolving. Now we just need Star Arabia to evolve. Yo. <laughs> Let's go with that big old tree on his side. It's so awesome. Groups of this Pokemon migrating in search of water have been mistaken for moving forest. Damn. It's a big boy. Earthquake? Hell yeah, I'll teach him that. Okay. So I want Leech Seed for damage over time. Yeah, Bite is 60, but it's good to have different movesets. Like, sorry, yeah, like different typings in your thing. Razor Leaf. Because mm. this is a hundred. Hmm. You know what? I'll get rid of Razor Leaf for right now. Yeah. But yeah, man. When I saw Andrew cry, like, doing a little, like, whimper with his mouth, dude. Aw, oh, it just hurt differently. I didn't want to witness that pain. And then I've seen edits to where, like, you know, like, people edit it really good. Oh, what, I get fly? 
If they had to keep flying forever, Burp Pokemon would eventually crash. Oh, I think it is fly. Hold on. Oh no, it's Roost. I got okay, so I got Roost and Payback. Oh, look at Torterra. Oh, it's nice. It looks adorable in its chibi form. But yeah, man, that movie was just something else. And like I said, there's an edit of uh, if I can find it, I'll put it up on the screen. I didn't find it. But there's an edit of him having a flashback of Gwen, and it just it hit very differently. I'm gonna run from this one because I don't want to deal with that. But yeah, man, that movie overall just. Oh, and then Aunt May said what Ben says. That's why I don't get with this universe. Like, what's Ben's even role? You know, I'm pretty sure that he does die the way that he dies in the comics. And, you know, Peter goes through it. But Aunt May had to tell him that little speech of with great responsibility. No, with great power comes great responsibility. So it's like, okay, what was Ben? You know, like, okay, what's up with all this point? It's a man. It was just trippy. I didn't really know how to process that. It was just something very, um, very, it was very weird, very weird, but I liked it, I'm not gonna lie. But when she died slow, man, that, sh that thing just hurt. And then towards the end, man, toward the end, Green Goblin just laughs in Tom's face, and he's, oh my god, Tom is just wailing, and I just, I'm telling you, blow for blow, like, do, 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 everything, man. I can't wait to rewatch it. <laughs> it was just good. You know, and it's top. It's top four for me. Actually, no. It's top three. I'm sorry. Yeah, top three. No, no way. Top three. So for me, look, I get it. Spider Man 2 with Tobey Maguire is like re the renowned best of all. But for my list, because it's my list, I have to give it to Spider-Man 1 with Toby, with Green Goblin and everything. It just set the mood for everything, and I love it. Best movie to me. And then, of course, number two, Spider-Man 2. And then number three, No Way Home. Just like, and Tom did his part, man. Tom played his part. Tom did what, we, what he had to do, because the rest of the movies, right, let me tell you. The previous two movies, Far From Home and Homecoming, my major problem was no hand-to-hand -hand combat. It was mainly webbing. I get it, he's a kid, he's learning, but still, I didn't I didn't like that. And then on top of that, if you honestly see, his villains are not his villains. They are Iron Man's. The Vulture, why is he pissed? Oh, because Tony created a mess. He was trying to clean it up with his company. Tony says, no, bye-bye, I'm going to bring my company in. Get out of here. So he's pissed, he steals some of the, you know, metal or whatever the hell he found from the aliens, and he uses it for his tech and turns into the vulture, he creates the vulture wings. Unfortunately, um, Tony is like somewhere else doing his thing, so who does he have? Spider-Man. Oh, okay, fine, you know, I'll take you, whatever. Not his enemy. Um, and then, come Mysterio. Not his enemy either. Why is Mysterio pissed? Oh, because Tony stole his idea. Called it a messed up name and whatever, and he threw him under the bus. He's pissed. What does he do? I'm going to take down Iron Man. Oh, but where's Iron Man? Oh, he's dead. So let me go ahead and mess with the kid. So it's like, I just didn't like it. I don't like that, man. There was no connection for me to Tom Spider-Man. It just, it didn't hit. Spider-Man is the people's hero where he was made for, like, you know, people. You know, he's a normal kid. And that just wasn't hitting. It wasn't resonating in the movies. But then come this one, man. Like I said, Tom did his part. They're moving in a good direction. I want to see what they do with the new trilogy with Tom. And I just want to see, man. I want to get thrown off my feet. Because that was, that was something to see. And then, um, yeah, it's just really good. I liked his acting. I love Tom as an actor, honestly. Ooh, I want the Sabra. I love Tom as an actor. I just really want them to take him in a good direction. And then if you see the little Easter eggs, man, they were hinting at Miles. 
Electro says, isn't, like, shouldn't there be a black Spider-Man whatever? And he's like, I don't know, like, something like that. But they're hinting at Miles. And Miles might team up with Tom Spider-Man in the future. And the other thing, too, um, oh. Even while asleep, it maintains a telepathic radar. It teleports when it's threatened. Okay, yeah. If you don't catch it from the first go. Oh, and then Andrew and Toby are officially canon with the MCU. So technically, everything that has happened within the movies, it's canon. It's just different Earths. Like, I think Andrew's Earth, like, seven something. I don't remember, but it, it's something weird. I'm not going to name it. Oh, I've already caught it? Oh, I guess. But yeah, it's all canon. And I guess the... Big rumor is that Andrew is going to get a final movie, but nobody knows anything yet about Toby. But it'd be cool if they actually get something good. Because they were setting up the Sinister Six for Andrew, but that, that's not going to happen anymore at all. They might give him a movie, but they're not going to progress with it. There's really no point. It's too late. And I don't think the studios would want to do that whole thing. And then Toby, I guess where they could leave it off, you know, is maybe kind of see how he's doing and whatever. But there's not really much, I guess you can say. But it'd be good to see him one last time in the suit, like fully just him by himself. And then too, if you saw the very, what was it? The very first end credit scene, you see Tom Hardy's Venom just, you know, in Mexico, I think, drinking and getting drunk. And then they get teleported back after everything gets set in stone. But if you see, there's a little glob of goo on the freaking table that he left, and that's the Venom. So he's gonna... People are saying that he might get to Flash first, but I'm praying that he doesn't, or it doesn't, because I don't like that Flash. He's too small. He's like, what, 5'5 five, five or 5? Five? Yeah, he's short. He's short as hell. He's like 5'5. Five, five. And Flash Thompson in the... Um... Oh, who, who's trying to learn something? Oh, I do have him. He's on my team. What's wrong with me? It's on HP. Okay. Uh, 65. What does this do? The user teleports using a strange power and switches places with one of its allies. Nah, I don't need to do that. I'm gonna get rid of that. But yeah, Flash Thompson in the comics is like almost six foot. And he's white. Okay, like he's a blonde white dude. It needs to be that. I'm sorry, but it needs to be that. So I don't like that Flash. He's... He's stupid. I don't like it. But hopefully it just goes directly to Tom for Secret Wars or uh, the next, the fourth movie, I guess you can say. But I don't know what's going to come first, either Secret Wars or that fourth movie. Because he's going to have to show up regardless. At this point, I'm just trying to see if I can get that Staravia to evolve. But it's taking a little bit. I mean, I could use a rare candy, but why? Or have I even gotten one? I don't even remember. But yeah, towards the end of that movie, man, when everybody forgets, it just broke. And then I thought MJ was gonna be like together with uh, Ned. It felt weird. But thankfully they weren't. And then too, I guess what um what I read was that when Doctor Strange was doing his little what was it? His little magic thing. To reverse time and stuff like that um he said towards the end like it was like six people but it could be no more than five but he did six because he included himself to not forget um spider-man so he didn't want to forget the kid but since tom wanted to go ahead and mess it all up that's what created that little split between everything so it just showed that Strange does care about him, but he at, towards the end, he had to do what he had to do and make everybody forget, even himself. So nobody knows really truthfully who he is, and I like it that way. It's good because now, like I said, his past villains weren't his. Now that nobody knows who he is, who he actually, you know, had help with, they're going to be his villains, you know, fully. And they're saying that he won't have his Stark Tech suit anymore because... Theoretically, right, if you say everybody forgets him, even Stark would have forgot him. So there's no tech suit, but there's certain little kind of 
discrepancies there, like, you know, things that don't add up. But then again, this is the MCU, man. Nothing adds up. Honestly, they're not comic accurate for the most part. You know, with story, some of it, I guess, yeah, but they're not. And with that being said, you know, like, I just want Tom to have his villains and be his villains. I want Tom to throw hands and catch fades. He can fight, you know, like, he's able to fight. And I want him to be able to do that. Oh, who wants to learn South Rock? Oh, Dwayne, say less. I'm going to keep Bulldoze. I like Bulldoze. Hey, stop with the damn... Bro, I can't wait to just buy another controller, man. <sighs> Boost speed, I'm gonna need that sometimes. Uh, I mean, <sighs> nah, we, no, we shouldn't have more than two, so. Let's keep this, let's keep Sandstorm, sorry. But yeah, I just want him, I want him to have all that. Throw hands and whatever. Oh, and I want really bad. Either meet Felicia Black Cat or meet a Gwen Stacy. Because now there's no more MJ. She doesn't remember him. It needs to be something new. Let me see if I even have any rare candies. Damn it, dude, this needs to be. Uh, where would it be? It's not here. It won't be with the balls. I think it should... No. No, not battle items. Maybe here? Yes. Okay, I'm going to give him one. Use this item. On forward. Did it only get me to that little bit of 33? No way. He wants to learn takedown. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, no, I don't want to... I don't want to meddle with that. Dude, it only gave him a bit. I'm pissed. <laughs> My god, man. You know what? Nah, I'm gonna just keep going. Screw it. Um, what was I saying? Talking about some... Oh yeah, how like nobody remembers him, you know? Like, it's good. It'll be good now. Fight his own battles, do his own thing, and hopefully they introduce a Gwen Stacy or Felicia. So that we can get finally Black Cat, because we're supposed to get her in the Amazing Spider-Man 3 with uh, Andrew. But we never did. Got scrapped. So now hopefully we can get something sort of like that. Because man, Tom can go ahead and be with, you know, any other girl in the Spider-Man universe. And I really would love to see that. And now, officially, he has nobody, you know? So, let's just see. Let's see what we can do. Alright, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it. And put it back to when um, Ford actually evolves. Because it's going to take a while. Yeah, I'll put it back. Alright, finally. Jesus. <laughs> Took a while. But here we are. Ford is finally evolving after I messed up that damn rare candy. <laughs> but now we get our beautiful Star Raptor. The whole reason why we named him Ford. <sighs> Yo, and I like his cry actually. It's pretty cool. It's got a little goth freaking hairdo. The muscles in its wings and legs are strong. It can easily fly while grappling a small Pokemon. Yo, that is... <laughs> that is not a sight I want to see. Okay. Uh... Uh, it's blown away and a different Pokemon is dragged out. Lowers their attack. I think I'll get rid of Whirlwind. I don't need that right now. Damn, I'm telling you, that just took way too long. And you can see him right there. Our beautiful boy. Alright, well, that's the end of today's episode. Glad we got to talk about Spider-Man because there was a video, episode 9, where I did.
before I watched it, no longer here. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel as always. I love you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one.